Time to punt, number 98. Catch by Amari Rogers. Potter for the extra point. Ruling on the field is a touchdown. The previous play is under further review. at the 37. He's in there just struggling to make a first down right now to get something going positively yeah, They don't have a first down. This is their fifth possession. They run 11 plays. They've turned it over twice Shockey Jacques Louis Paid the price the whistles were blowing before the ball came out now, This is an angry hungry football team. Oh that that didn't get to play last week and is out to avenge their loss to Notre Dame. Prove what they are, and there's another pick. And that's off the hands of Jared Wayne. You have to put that one on him. Mario Goodrich intercepts. Receiver all the way, just a lack of concentration. It's a, a well-thrown ball by Pickett, a little high, but certainly catchable. 
and Goodrich with the interception. And when we talked to Pat Narduzzi, he was lamenting about the losses to Miami and Notre Dame, talking about giving the short field. First interception of the year for the junior from Kansas City, Missouri. Goodrich, Lawrence, acrobatic catch. Ball thrown behind Amari Rogers, but he hauled it in at the 18-yard line. Because Servassier Dennis is going to get great pressure, and Lawrence just has to unload the football. A huge season for him. ETN. That stood up inside the 10 and a yard shy of the first down by Eric Halleck. 28 yards rushing and 18 carries against the Irish, worse since his freshman season. Lawrence faked the toss. Whatever Billy Lemon says, that's what I go with. ETN, another touchdown. They were strictly a four down team. They don't play that way anymore. Pressure with a four man rush, and Pickett did well to scramble back near the line of scrimmage. A three-man look. That doesn't mean they'll rush only three, but they line up with three defensive linemen. They bring linebackers. They bring safeties. They've become much more of a blitz package team. A&M playing for the first time in 21 days due to COVID issues. 18 more games canceled around the country today. Pickett on target. Amari Rogers trying to run away from Damar Hamlin. He managed to cross Amari the 30. Rogers. Back in chart, and this is quite a matchup, three on three, but when you go back in chart, how Clemson is using. Five catches for him in his opening quarter, 53 for the year. Men wide open everywhere. This is Brandon Spector in the Pittsburgh territory at the 42-yard line. That Pitt had this year was against the four best quarterbacks that they faced, and they all had good numbers, and this guy here is the best they've seen yet. Lawrence with single coverage, fires for Powell, who makes the catch along the sideline, and at the 17. Beautiful job by Powell going up, strong hands. They got blasted by Notre Dame when Notre Dame was number three. They met earlier this year. Lynn J. Dixon first and goal as he advances to the two-yard line. Crowd keeps waiting for the inevitable replay stoppage to call it a touchdown. There is none. And that's just a formality. Lynn J. Dixon. Will Putman, the right guard, get a nice block here. And the right tackle, he's in there at this play, is a back, is a true freshman. Walker Parks, number 64. I like that. I think Pittsburgh is wishing it was South Carolina yes. that was here today <laughs> instead of them. Kenny Pickett throws on target. Jared Wayne upended. Tyler Venables, a true freshman, was a talented high school quarterback, can really run. Obviously understands the defense, too. Pickett under duress again and taken down by Tyler Davis. They play like grown men. They don't play like true freshmen learning the ropes. Pickett had to pull it down, chased from behind, throws over the head of DJ Turner, who looked like he wanted no part of catching that ball. Lawrence under pressure. They brought extra men and got there, led by Patrick Jones. The defensive end, fifth year senior out of Chesapeake, Virginia. Travis Etienne has done a much better job this year and has been more consistent in pass protection. But there I thought he could have, could have done, a, done a better job, really. I, I, he just kind of got in the way instead of really getting aggressive and squaring up. Yeah. Patrick Jones with an incredible move blocking Philip Campbell, the linebacker who came on the outside pressure. Spires with a short punt. D.J. Turner, they couldn't yank him down by the jersey. They do around the legs. Coach Whipple, that they wanted to play at a very fast tempo. They certainly haven't been able to get that established here today either. Pickett with surgery on his left ankle for a first down to the 22. Yeah, the surgery on his left ankle. When he played his first game back against Pittsburgh, the coaches just wanted to try to get him through the game without getting hit. Really tried to take care of that ankle. And to your point of wanting to play fast, the only way you can do that is you got to make some first downs. That was just the third first down of the game. 
for Pittsburgh. Trying to get it to Jordan Addison. Flags fly from everywhere. Pickett is buried with a flag down. First of all, Charleston, the safety, he's going to come from here. Here's Spectre, he's going to come unblocked on the inside. Kenny Pickett, nowhere to go. Can't step up in the pocket when the pressure comes from inside. There's the penalty on Carson Van Lynn. Down in 14. Jared Wayne chopped down short of the first down. Yeah, this, you know, fourth and three, you're down by 31, you're going to kick a field goal? All right. There are nine players who are fifth year seniors right now who were part of the program in 2016. They were here for that loss to Pitt during that national championship season. Lawrence airing it out deep, and Powell has it, and he's tripped up at the five yard. Jay Woods. 100 yards and receiving for the third game in a row. Travis, Trevor Lawrence is giving his guy a chance, throwing it up there. Second and goal for the eight. Lawrence, a bullet. Nice play by Hamlin again. Third and goal from the eight. Design roll for Lawrence, has to get rid of it. And it's incomplete. Mari Rogers had gone out of the back of the end zone. And have it first and goal at the pit two, 8 10 to go, first half. Lynn J. Dixon. The pile gets pushed. He kept driving. No signal yet of a touchdown. Now there is. Actually, it's Ches Malusi, the third string running back. Watch a couple of the linemen kind of fold over behind him and start just pushing towards the end zone. Pitt's trying to stand him up, and Malusi gets the ball into the end zone. Leg drive by a fresh back against a tired defense. Last year in the Fiesta Bowl semifinal game. Pickett, forced to retreat again, finds some time. There is a flag down, thrown after Pickett had thrown the ball. Fifth year senior, team leader. They throw it to him out of the backfield, and he has the first down. The guys that got drafted in the first two rounds last year, like a Jonathan Taylor, it nowhere compares. I mean, he's got a lot of carries left because of the way they've used him throughout his career. Screen for Wrencher. He's down about three yards short of the first down, which has three sacks, 15th straight game with multiple sacks, 31 out of 32. Pass completed, a little bit behind Taysir Mack. They lined up like they might come after him. Ball and now the ball's knocked out by Xavier Thomas. And Pittsburgh recovers. Here comes number three from the top of the screen. Brzee coming from the other side. Hard to imagine if Mike Jones, number six, didn't come up with that football for mm. Clemson. It bounced right to him. Sublime for Clemson all day. They're so happy to have him back. Well, he might have been tired. There's not much pass rush from him that time. DJ Turner over the middle and into Tiger territory. We just wonder what his future is. Not played well. Tried to blitz. They threw a screen to the other side. Nice call by Mark Whipple and well executed for a first down to the 25 yard line to Jordan Addison. Pick it toward the end zone and is it caught? Yes! Jordan Addison! The touchdown it looked like Joseph Charleston at the very least might bat it down, but he didn't. Touchdown. Watch the. Watch the footwork by Addison. Unbelievable concentration and then keeping the feet in. He only needs one. He has both of them in. He's concentrating on making the catch, but he has the awareness of where his feet are also. I'm, st I'm standing three yards away from him. Charleston got his hand on the ball, so it redirected. He had to get his feet to die and then still get the focus to, to bring the ball in. That was, that was an unbelievable catch. And uh, you're not going to fool Trevor Lawrence with coverage. Look out. 
He is surrounded in sack Rashad Weaver there. Here he is working on Jordan McFadden. Watch him come all the way around the pocket and then back to the quarterback. McFadden a little bit. Rodgers taken down inbounds by Eric Hallett. But we're ready for the stretch run, and it starts today. Spires. Pitt came after him. He Spires on the ground. The crowd wanted a flag. D.J. Turner, the return to midfield. I'm out in order to set up the punt rush, and they came all out. The only question was he blocked into the punter. The reason there was no flag. Yeah, I think he, I think he probably was. It's two of them get contacted into him, but I didn't see contact no. that I deem uh, to be uh, to get, take him off the hook there. So uh, kind of understandable yep. why they're upset with that one. Lawrence with ETN, the running back, and he gets dumped by Rashad Weaver, and the ball has come out. And the Panthers have it. There is a flag down. I think there's going to be a hold on Jackson Carmen blocking against Patrick Jones. Defensive ends now. Here the hold is going to be right here. The sack is going to be right here. These two guys, Rashad Weaver and Patrick Jones, are very difficult to deal with in one-on-one -on -one pass block situations. They, they came in with 13 and a half sacks, and they've created consistent pressure tonight. They have done that consistently. You have to get to disrupt the quarterback when you play as much man-to-man -man as they do. Pick it over the middle to Jared Wayne. Frustrated he couldn't stay on his feet. He might have had a touchdown. Yeah, averaging four and a half per game. Touchdown here if he catches it. Vincent Davis wide open in the flat, and it's a touchdown. And the Panthers trying to scratch back into this one after falling behind 31 to nothing. Defensive philosophy is very similar, and uh, right now Patrick Jones has got it going on a little bit. Coach Bates brought a blitz with number nine this year. There it is. With the blitz, they swing it out quickly to ETN. First down, he gets belted out of bounds at the Pittsburgh 44 by Cam Bright. And leading this one 38 to 17, Lynn J. Dixon, nice move as he went past the line to make. Defensive end has got to freeze and respect Trevor Lawrence. Lawrence makes the right, but he's a very good runner, has a good feel for it. But that's what he does best. Right yeah, Powell. <laughs> well, it was first and 30. Now it's going to be third down and about a yard and a half. Uh, Powell, that's his fifth catch for 169. See, that's RPO. I mean, that, that the line. And you say it went over in space to the left? Were you circled? Or what? Well, no, they had a nice picture of his short hair. He <laughs> was a tremendous player. Green originally committed to LSU. Came to Clemson instead. That pass off the hands of Jared Wayne. Clemson offense stagnant. Lawrence is the inbounds. No. Started seven on ESPN Plus. The main card at 10 on ESPN 2 in the port days. A screen. Kenny Pickett, A.J. Davis. And here come the Panthers with more. One of the best plays of the night. Uh, this timed out perfectly. Just gets away from him enough to deliver the football <laughs> in that freshman picture. And he's a big strapping guy right now. I mean, you know, when and NFL tough. guys see him throw the football to this kind of yardage. Third and nine. Pick it. Across the line and down. Not only two, needed seven more. He does. He really has good feet. That enables him to do that. Well, we mentioned there's a first down run by ETN. It's not his fault. There's not a lot of anticipation throws in the middle of the field. But when you see them on, on tape, he's perfectly capable of, of executing. Right. And you can picture him in a more pro-style offense. He's, only, he's in an RPO-oriented offense right now. I think as you saw in that play there, again, his ability as a runner and to extend plays and to scramble, 
Nice, another run by MJ Dixon. That's the thing that impressed people about Joe Burrow last year was his running ability. Great NFL quarterback. Peyton Manning certainly won. Yeah. Uh, to me, Andrew Luck was one of those guys. His career derailed by injuries somewhat. Man of considerable faith. Todd McShay said he's developed as a leader. You know, he led the movement by players to, who wanted to play when it looked like they might not even have a season. The crowd finding a face mask. So we had a peek at a replay. He fakes the toss, throws it deeper. Beautiful play design. Braden Galloway, a touchdown. It's going to be a touchdown, but it was a beautiful play by the Clemson offense. It was DeMar Hamlin as usual. I was just going to say, give him credit for that, that effort coming from the other side of the field. Finding another defensive lineman in the middle. They sell out on the blitz, and ETN has the touchdown. touchdown His second rushing touchdown of the game. First play of the fourth quarter, and a big one for Pittsburgh. Third down and two. Five-man rush after Kenny Pickett, and it's intercepted. The fourth for the Clemson defense, and the second for Mario Goodrich today. ...between receiver and quarterback. The intended receiver, Taysier Mack, is going to be out to the right, and he continues to run. Pickett throws the ball, thinking he's running back to the sideline. Mack just ran past the defender. And that's an easy interception because their quarterback and the wide receiver were not on the same page. On the draw, Malusi, big hole, first down inside the pit, 30 to the 27-yard line. Just he's he's got it going. Well, and he's just seen so much. You know, you're not going to fool him. You know, you hope maybe you, you get him to pull the ball down. The only ACC players to do that. Cornell Powell. Coaches have so much admiration for him. Have this happen, you know, and, and play at such a high level. Three straight 100-yard games, 176 today for Powell, and that's a touchdown. Big Cinco to Malusi on fourth down. They forego the field goal, and it's a nine-yard touchdown. Picked. He's in coverage. That's his man. But as he tries to go across the formation, watch Powell just kind of get in his way. He gets in his way enough to create separation. We're even going to give B.T. Potter the kickoff man the rest of the day off, it seems. Here's Aiden Swanson, left-footed redshirt freshman out of Tampa. Hit his ass. Turner. Out of bounds. Will they get into the ACC championship game in the playoff potentially? Can he pick it? What a battler he is. Held on to the ball a long time, hoping he could find somebody. He did not. And Reagan Upshaw, the man who took him down. Well, what tremendous pressure. He didn't get the sack, but Jordan Williams, number 59. I mean, just big plays and interception. Uh, Tyler Davis coming back, number 13, just a wrecking machine in the middle of the defensive line. Pick it. Yeah, they got all three of those guys back. He was a big help to his dad on Wednesday night, putting up the Christmas lights. Dabo said that was an annual tradition in the Sweeney household. And Christmas lights go up on Thanksgiving Eve. Much of his life, he was an only child. He wanted a sibling, and now he says his little brother is his whole world. And the coaches. Um, you know what he can do early in his career is getting acclimated to go cover kicks. Oh, yeah, he'll be a great special right? team guy. Yep. His 10 tackles today. Spires the punt. This the year 2020. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it cannot end soon enough. <laughs> And he picked it, swung down, tried to step up into the pocket, but did not escape. He's going to be able to get in here, comes right up the middle, and just keeps fighting. Those are fresh legs on some of those defenders right now. Second sack of the year for the redshirt freshman, Levante Benley. Back to the screen game, D.J. Turner tried to deliver a stiff arm to Tyler Venables. So, Levante.
Lemagne agrees with that decision. Three man rush for Clemson. Kenny Pickett on third and 13. This fought badly all night. He was over the line of scrimmage, retreated and threw it, and that's going to bring a flag. Trenton Simpson was in hot pursuit. I mean, that, that, that must not matter to him. Of course it matters. <laughs> of course it matters. You just think they're trying to just play better. Yeah, now. but you know, I yeah. mean, right. That's right. Different conferences are playing different numbers of games. That's exactly right. So it, it would provide an opportunity to really see who the best teams are. And if they expanded it, it would help them with potential problems like starting debut since John Terman back in 1999 3-3-16 against Penn State. John Bartzell, his first catch of the day. Just to do another punt. And because of the numbers issues for Wisconsin, yeah. if Northwestern's still in good shape in the West. I never kid. That's Davis Bevel. Now Davis <laughs> Bevel gets his shot at quarterback. And he's on target. Whoa! Boy. Whoa, 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 Basket whoa, whoa. Right That's the 20. Anthony Williams. Right. One of their tight ends. Daniel Carter, the ball's out. And it's a scoop and perhaps a chance to score for Kane Patterson. They're trying to run him down, and it is a touchdown, or is it? Officials conferring. I think they're going to mark him down to the one-yard line. He thinks he scored. Jake Venables, who had been the starting middle linebacker, did not play at all today. They got Skowski back. Yeah, he was There's down. He was down mm -hmm. before he got the ball to the pylon. And it, of course, we have to see it from the progressive pylon cam. Of just course, to we do. Boy. Confirm it. Off season from Anderson, South Carolina, right yeah. down the road. Look at you. Yeah. Great hotels. <laughs> <laughs> you were on a roll there for a minute. His dad was a track star here in the 80s. And serious knee injuries in high school. Oh boy, he's not going to get there now. Well, they tried to give him a couple of chances. Yeah. Disappointing that. For him that he didn't score, but this is the right thing to do with a lead of this size. Don't hurry to run another play.